So when you search my name on YouTube, one of the first things that comes up is Montmus settings. And I've not done a settings video in quite a while, so here we go. Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. As many of you guys know, I play on console and PC. This means I show my settings for keyboard and mouse and controller. So these are my settings for PS5. My targeting mode is usually either assisted aim full or free aim for some reason it's impartial at the moment. I have vibration and adaptive triggers off because I really don't like the feel of it. My control type is standard FPS2 for both third and first person, which means I can use R1 to run around, which means I can look around pretty easily, I don't have to... I can keep my fingers on both the sticks. And I've got pretty high aiming and look around sensitivity. My first person aim sensitivity is quite low. This means when I'm aiming in, I can look around really quick and then when I aim, it goes a lot slower. This helps me be more precise with rockets. It's a lot easier to aim when it's slower. My dead zone, which is how sensitive the stick is, uh, is at the lowest, so I can make really precise movements. Aim and look acceleration is the highest. This one of these settings you can have to mess about with. It's really hard to feel right. But I just uh, I just set it to the highest. I've pretty much not really changed off that since the game came out. My camera settings, you can copy these, but I'm going to explain briefly the ones that I change on purpose. So I've got this set to the highest so I can see more in my field of view. First person auto level camera is off because I don't like how it moves your camera for you. I much prefer to do the camera movements myself. First person ragdoll is on. First person combat roll is off, which means I can do this. Head bobbing is off as well because I don't really like having the swaying from side to side. And then these are just personal preference. Doesn't really matter, you can choose whatever you want. My graphics mode is on performance instead of performance RT because I don't know, I just feel like adding ray tracing might add a little bit of input delay. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but you never know. And then of course I'm not using fidelity because I want 60 FPS. So the brightness to the highest, so I can see the most. Motion blur strength is at the lowest, so it's not as distracting. And in-game depth of field effects are off because I don't like this blur. It's really distracting, so it looks a lot better like this. On PC, my settings are basically the same as on console for the controller stuff and the uh, camera uh, stuff. The only thing that really changes is the keyboard and mouse settings, obviously. For mouse input method, I have raw input. I have a feeling that this is like the most accurate. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling it is, so that's why I use it. My mouse look sensitivity and smoother scale are both on zero in game. And then find aim and control off because this is mouse acceleration. Uh, I don't like that. Some people like it try it out for yourself. My key bindings aren't really that different. The only things that you really have to pay attention to is zooming in and out with a sniper and my weapon binds. So for sniper zooming in I have left control and sniper zooming out I have X. These might not be the best ones to use but it's just what I've got used to ever since I start playing PC. Uh, control lets me move left and right and it doesn't affect my movement whereas sometimes when you scroll it can move your mouse around a little bit. And then for weapon select I have Q for the heavy weapon, which is the uh, like the RPGs and stuff like that. Mouse back for the special weapon, which is stickies. And mouse forward for the sniper rifle. So for the people that aren't familiar, this is mouse forwards. This is mouse backwards. So I can quickly spawn in, press the forwards button, and I've instantly got my sniper out. On a quick switch, I just have to move my thumb backwards and forwards like that. But yeah, with these settings, I can change between the two really well. Same with sniper as well. For most other guns, I just use the weapon wheel and use my uh, tab button to select, and that just works for me. Um, also, you might have noticed that I used to use macros. Uh, I don't use that anymore. I haven't used macros for about two years or something like that, because ever since they took out fast EWO, it's not really worth it. I'm pretty quick in the menu anyway, and I feel like having a macro doesn't make that much of an advantage. So I've pretty much got all the, uh, all the combinations dialed down. You can have macros, but I don't have any macro files to use for the current updates. I just do without. Now when it comes to the actual setup, the keyboard that I use is the Apex Pro TKL by SteelSeries. This means it's shorter, doesn't have the numpad in the right. It just means that I've got more desk room. The mouse that I use at the moment is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. I do also own the Razer Viper Ultimate, which I sometimes use, but I just feel it's a little bit too heavy at the moment because I'm so used to the Logitech one. I use the BenQ Zowie GSR SE in blue. Uh, it's pretty good. It wears down pretty quick, so you have to like replace it quite often, but I'm used to it, so I'm going to stick with it. And then the monitor that I use is the BenQ 240Hz one, 24 inch. You can't really get 240fps in GTA at all, so it's not really worth it for GTA. But it does have some really low input lag and hardly any motion blur, so it's really good in that aspect. 
I also have a control freak on my right analog stick on my controller. I feel like it helps me aim a little bit more precisely. When it comes to graphic settings, mine are pretty high. Uh, I play 1080p because my monitor is only 1080p. Um, and then I've got FXA, MSA, anti aliasing all that stuff off. VSync shouldn't be on. I don't know why it was on. Um, but yeah. And then I've got basically everything very high, the highest it can be, except for um, grass settings because grass sucks. And then I've got post effects off because that removes all motion blur and all that annoying stuff. Then my advanced graphics, everything's pretty much off as well. But yeah, that's basically it. Enjoy some clips of me playing using my settings. Oh my god, I didn't even mean to kill him. <gasps> no! 